Don't worry, you're not witnessing a real earthquake, just a very realistic test. So this is a simulated structure of a two-story building, and we want to see how it behaves during earthquake. At the Structural Laboratory on the UBC campus, a group of engineers led by Dr. Tony Yang have been testing different structures and building materials to see how they would fare against a real earthquake. We develop specimens and we put different reinforcement inside and in the laboratory to control the condition, we crush it and see its capacity. And the Weather Network was invited to take a tour of the lab. Aside from testing buildings, they're also testing different machines that can actually help keep structures safe during an earthquake. Dr. Yang shared some more information on their latest technology called a base isolation system. You may say, okay, I need to make sure my building are actually protected for earthquake. So what engineer will do is that they put in a bigger walls and bigger braces to there and bigger foundation to actually withstand the earthquake load. So when you make the building with lots of walls and lots of braces, the building becomes very, very stiff, so the acceleration goes up. So you actually attracted a lot more earthquake forces to the building. We weaken the building and we cut all the foundation to the building. So the building will be sitting on mechanically developed de devices like rollers. Kind of like a chair with wheels, the base of the structure moves, but the rest of the building stays stable. This video shows two buildings, one with that base isolation system and one without. Back here in the lab, they're able to use the shake table and computer technology to test it out in the real world. So the computer was simulated and we'll test it here and then it will be coupled together so we can study complex structures. And speaking of the real world, the base isolation system is already being put to real use. The Museum of Anthropology on the UBC campus as well as the Peace Tower in Ottawa are being retrofitted with this design. Dr. Yang has also been working with the government to create up-to-date building codes to ensure that structures in Vancouver can withstand the big one whenever it does happen.